classifying Earth's rocks. Our Earth is made up of a great variety of organic and inorganic compounds. At a fundamental level, though, its physical structure is primarily composed of rock. Deep within the Earth, rock exists at intense temperatures as liquid magma. Closer to the surface, we find the solid rocks we are accustomed to seeing in the landscapes that surround us. These solid rocks are composites of different minerals, at times with some organic materials mixed in. Minerals are crystallized structures made up of either a single pure element or a mixture of elements. There are over 4,000 known species of minerals in our world, combining in various ways to create more than 100 different kinds of rocks. One method of classifying rocks labels them according to the kinds of minerals they contain: silicates, carbonates, sulfates, etc. However, there is an even more basic system for categorizing the multitude of rock types. Every rock on the planet can be put into one of three distinct groups based on the processes that were responsible for its creation. These are the igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic categories. Igneous rocks make up the majority of the Earth's crust. They form when magma is able to cool and solidify. Sometimes this happens below the Earth's surface when conditions change in a way that allows the ordinarily scalding subterranean temperatures to drop. The resulting igneous rocks are called intrusive or plutonic. In other circumstances, magma manages to travel all the way to the crust, where it is ejected and then solidifies above the surface, creating extrusive or volcanic igneous rocks. From the term volcanic, it is easy to discern where such rocks may be found. Other places where magma comes to the surface to form extrusive igneous rocks include tectonic divergence zones. Which are usually active deep underwater on the ocean floor. An igneous rock's physical features depend on the location and duration of its cooling process, in addition to its mineral composition. While igneous rocks begin far beneath the crust as magma, sedimentary rocks form much closer to the surface. As the name implies, they are composed of numerous individual sediments, packed tightly together and forced into a fused state. Most of these sediments come from other rocks, igneous, metamorphic, or sedimentary, slowly broken apart by the weathering forces that occur on the Earth's surface. Pieces of organic material, such as the shells of marine creatures or decaying plant matter, can be included in the mixture as well. Layers of these sediments are deposited in an area by wind or water and are slowly buried over time. As more and more debris accumulates on top of these layers. The underlying materials are subjected to increasing degrees of pressure, and this force eventually cements the once loose sediments into a thin, solid layer of rock. A physical change referred to as lithification. The characteristics of rocks of this type are influenced mostly by the size, shape, and mineral makeup of the sediments that coalesce to form them. Metamorphic rocks can only develop deep underground, up to 20 kilometers below the Earth's crust. Tectonic activity is constantly pulling some land masses down into the earth, while thrusting others up to the surface. Subducted rocks, which can belong to any of the three types, sometimes reach depths where the conditions of temperature and pressure are far different from the places where they were originally formed. Certain chemical changes result, producing new rocks that now fall into the metamorphic category. Though the temperatures and pressures that create metamorphic specimens must be intense enough to bring about such changes. They are not so great that the rocks melt and become magma. The specific strengths of these forces are the primary factors dictating what physical properties a metamorphic rock will display. It is not difficult to see that all three types of rock are interconnected. Igneous rocks at the surface are slowly weathered away, creating the building block for sedimentary rocks. Once formed, these sedimentary rocks may be submerged to the point where they become metamorphic. Some metamorphic rocks then reach depths with temperatures that can liquefy them, creating magma and beginning the entire process again. In this way, the minerals and other materials that make up the Earth have been undergoing radical transformations for millennia.